Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will delve into the topic of Do narcissists watch their victims after discarding them? Narcissists are known to maintain constant surveillance of their victims, even after the discard, and they persistently watch and spy on you. They are known to stalk their victims for months, and sometimes even years after the ending of the relationship. They frequently keep tabs on the people that they have discarded as it allows them to gather information they need to maintain their power and control over them. Bear in mind that the discard was only meant to devastate and punish you and the narcissist is in fact never really done with you. They continue to watch their victims to ensure that they still have some influence over them. Seeing you struggling or being affected by the breakup provides a sense of satisfaction and power for the narcissist. Their obsessive nature keeps them fixated on your actions and whereabouts. Their minds are always troubled and preoccupied with thoughts of you and on what you are doing. You may not have seen or heard from them for a long time, but they are still watching you. The narcissist's monitoring of you is relentless. They do this to still feel in control and keep tabs. Don't romanticize it if you are. Unfortunately, they truly do not care for you. It's always what you can do for them. Narcissists are always discussing you and fretting over you. They feel great anxiety and distress when they don't know where you are, who you are with, and what you are doing. Gaining knowledge of your whereabouts gives them reassurance and calms their anxiety and distress. They are just not able to forget about you and carry on with their lives. They may be stalking you just to watch you post anything negative happening in your life, just so they can feel better to see you fail. They keep tabs to make sure you haven't moved on or that no one else gets you. They want you to be a doll on their shelf and remain in limbo while they play with others. They will watch you for the rest of their lives, in any capacity that they can. Not because they miss you or love you but because they're competing with you. Their aim is to make sure that you are not in a new relationship, that you are not experiencing happiness, and not achieving success. They want to see if you still have those interests, which they considered foolish, and whether you're undergoing any negative changes in your appearance, if you are aging poorly, gaining weight, or appearing unwell and frail. Narcissists are aware that they have caused numerous problems and challenges in your life. Their motive for watching you is to witness and see the consequences and aftermath of everything they have inflicted upon you. They were fully aware that their actions towards you were going to have an impact on you. Thus, they want to come back and continue their vigilance, keeping a close watch on you to see the repercussions of their actions on you. They want to witness your sadness and anguish caused by their absence from your life. They want to witness the consequences of everything they have done to you. If they betrayed you, they want to know if you have found out about their infidelity. If they misled you, they are curious to see if you have become aware of their deception. If they stole from you or mishandled your money, they want to observe if it has resulted in any hardships in your life. Perhaps they attempted to alienate you from others and isolate you from your family and friends. Now, they are interested in seeing whether you will reach out to them again. Narcissists are also fearful that their victim will expose their abusive behavior or share their negative experiences with others. By keeping an eye on the victim, they try to preemptively manage any potential damage to their reputation. Narcissists will also stalk your social media if you haven't blocked them. Some may watch you through proxy, or through a relative or close friend. One of a narcissist's worst fears is that you will go on and live a successful life without them. They are curious to know if you have found a new partner, if you are content and joyful, and if you have been able to move on and thrive without them. 
Their interest in knowing about your life and activities stems neither from genuine care nor a desire to assist you. Their desire is to witness your suffering, sadness, and anguish. All the while knowing that they were the cause of it, they derive pleasure and enjoyment in witnessing your pain and distress. The narcissist feels compelled to watch you. For them, the act of discarding is almost as exhilarating as the initial love-bombing phase. They have brought you down, and their goal is to ensure you remain in that weakened, broken, and unhealed state. Seeing the victim struggle enforces their belief in their own grandiosity and superiority. This helps them to regulate their emotions, enhances their self-esteem and makes them feel good about themselves. They do not want to witness any notable progress or positive change in your life. The idea of you being content or happy after they discarded you is unsettling to them as it influences their self-perception and beliefs. Frequently, the narcissist and their flying monkeys will monitor your social media to gather information about where you live, where you shop, and about the rest of your activities. Their purpose in keeping tabs on you is to retain the control they've established, especially when you're trying to heal from the abuse and the trauma. Each time the narcissist checks in to monitor your situation, their wish is to see you in a state that is progressively getting worse for you. They are looking for evidence that you are unable to live without them and that you are constantly thinking about them. They want proof that you are suffering or in a state of ruin, which boosts their own sense of superiority. If they observe you living your life independently and happily without them, it might attract them back to you like a renewed fascination. This gives them hope that they can hoover you back into their control and resume their manipulative game. They want you to experience escalating misery and heightened dissatisfaction with your life over time. They derive satisfaction from witnessing you in such a state because it implies that you have been unable to cope with the problems or difficulties that they have introduced into your life. They deliberately create obstacles and challenges for you, and if you are unable to overcome them, they view you as weak and inadequate. This puts them in a position of advantage or superiority over you. It implies that you need them, and the idea of you being unable to live without them gives them a sense of power and dominance over you. They have a burning desire inside of them to hurt you, to put limitations and restrictions on you where it makes it difficult for you to progress or succeed. They were aware of your capabilities and potential, and that was what initially drew them to you. Once they begin devaluing you, they know that they have to start causing difficulties for you, and to isolate you from those around you, so that you can have no support. They want to ruin you in every way for the rest of your life. Deep down they know and believe that you are superior to them. That is why they constantly have to prove their false sense of exaggerated self-worth and constantly compete with you. This is the reason why they deliberately create numerous problems and difficulties for you, causing inconvenience and imposing limitations and restrictions. They undertake all of these actions because they are clearly and acutely aware of your capabilities and potential. Yet, they never introspect or acknowledge the fact that they are the cause of all those problems and difficulties that you had to endure, as doing so would only remind them of their own weaknesses and inadequacies. On the contrary, they want to perceive you as being the one who is weak and inadequate. In their minds, your struggles validate their belief that they are stronger and more capable than you, further fueling their desire to maintain this dynamic. Their way of thinking is distorted and illogical. However, they must perceive it in this way in order to cope with and uphold their false sense of power and superiority. In essence, they are incapable of moving on with their lives. Their deeply disturbed nature drives them to ensure that you do not succeed and that you endure hardship, providing them with psychological comfort that they are superior. 
Conversely, witnessing you prosper and lead a fulfilling life inflicts a severe blow to their ego, compelling them to take actions to appear superior. They might return after the discard and assert that you are not doing well without them. This prompts you to introspect, leading you to self-doubt about whether they are correct. You start questioning your ability to function well without them, and you start thinking that maybe you are not doing too well without them. Maybe you cannot live without them. Your attention becomes diverted towards your own challenges and difficulties, overlooking the fact that they were the ones responsible for causing these issues in the first place. They drained your time, energy, and resources to sustain themselves and make it easier for them to move on without you, leaving you with very little or even nothing. Despite this, they have the audacity and arrogance to portray as if you are the one not doing well without them, as if you cannot live without them. However, the reality is that everything that supported and sustained them likely came from you. Their aim is to reverse the roles and create an illusion that you are the one who needs them, when in truth, they are the ones who depend on you, and that is the sole reason for their return. This is precisely why a narcissist would persistently watch and spy on you because they are reliant on you and your energy. They are the ones who cannot live without you. Therefore, they continuously observe and spy on you to witness the aftermath of the affliction and the damage they have caused, all the while hoping for a chance to reconcile with you. As you grapple with all the damaging effects, problems, and difficulties in your life, it puts them in a position of advantage where you might find yourself in need of their support or requiring something from them. Narcissists are predators, closely observing and spying on you to identify any vulnerability, weakness, or insecurity which they can exploit or use against you. When someone returns after being fully aware of the harm they've caused you, their purpose is solely to witness the pain and distress they've inflicted. They intend to exploit and benefit from your vulnerabilities. If you have made significant improvements or positive changes in your life, demonstrating strength and independence which signifies that you don't need them, and that you have moved on from them. However, when they are watching and spying on you, that is not what they wish to see. Instead, they want to see you, six months or a year later, still grappling with the consequences of the damage they have inflicted and still struggling in your recovery process. They do not want to witness your accomplishments as it would merely confirm their feelings of inadequacy. They fear that it would reveal their own inadequacy and a sense of not being worthy enough for you. Thus, they aim to make you reliant on them, wanting you to believe that you cannot thrive without them. They have no intention of offering help or supporting you in any way. Instead, their return could be solely to witness your pain, struggles, and suffering. If they notice any progress or positive transformations in your life, their aim would be to sabotage those and make your life more challenging. They want to see you deteriorating, where your situation worsens over time and you are unable to achieve or obtain the things that you need. They want to see you in a state or condition where you cannot live the way you want to live. They want to control everyone and everything in their life. They keep up with you after the discard to see if they can reel you back in for some more abuse and make your life even more miserable. Narcissists feel that they own you. They check to see what you're up to and whether they need to knock you down again. They come back to stab you and wound you even deeper than before and make you feel worthless, abandoned, and a failure all your life. This behavior is driven by a desire to ensure that their victims don't move on and to potentially exploit them in the future. It's crucial for survivors to recognize and protect themselves from such manipulative tactics. Here's some sincere advice. Secure your social media accounts with the highest level of privacy. Avoid accepting friend requests from unknown individuals. 
Refrain from sharing personal information like relocation or job changes. Resist adding the narcissist's family, friends, or acquaintances to your network. The goal is to completely cut off contact, making sure they lose sight of you. Focus on your healing journey rather than wasting energy on this distorted individual. In essence, leading a happy and fulfilling life after being victimized and discarded by a narcissist is the ultimate form of revenge that you can inflict on the narcissist, as it diminishes their power, highlights your strength, and showcases your ability to flourish independently and authentically. Let them witness how genuinely happy and content you are without them. Let them see that you can provide for yourself and fulfill your desires, wants, and needs. As they observe you, let them see you embracing life to the fullest, making them wish they could partake in the wonderful experiences you have to offer. When the narcissist watches you after they had ruthlessly discarded you, let them see that you have finally embraced your true self and are living your best life. I hope this video resonates with you. Please feel free to share your experiences and thoughts in the comment section below. Please demonstrate your support by giving this video a thumbs up, share it with others, and subscribing to my channel. Your support plays a crucial role in the growth of the channel and allows it to reach a wider audience who may find it beneficial. Be sure to activate the notification bell icon to stay updated and not miss out on my upcoming videos. I express my gratitude to everyone for tuning in and watching. Let us help spread the awareness and lead healthier and fulfilling lives.